I'm at 5129 at Northeast 25th. Here is the front of the house. Uh, needs a new roof. Um, definitely needs exterior paint. We've got def uh, areas of dry rot, uh, original windows. Here is the neighborhood. Great location. Uh, would certainly support, the location would certainly support remodeling this house. Um, it has alley access. There's no garage now, but because of the alley access, it definitely makes it easier to potentially add a garage. Um, so we walk in. We have what looks like fur subfloors that have not been finished at all, so they could be sanded and refinished. We walk into this entryway, got high ceilings, lath and plaster, uh, which in areas you'll see is uh, the plaster is coming off, so that needs some repairs. And then here is the living room area. Not a very big living room, um, but I think there's the ability to open up this entryway some, as well as you'll see with the kitchen, high ceilings, original single pane windows. It does look like they have storm windows on the outside. And then again, this fur subfloor throughout. Here is the dining room area. Dining room area is about the same size as the living room area. Wood stove. And I doubt this wood stove is DEQ certified, so, well, actually, it looks like there may be a DEQ certificate on the back, so this, that means the seller is leaving this wood stove here. Um, and then into the kitchen, not a lot of space in the kitchen, so my thinking is opening up this some to do uh, maybe a bar top area to open this up. We've got original cabinets, linoleum flooring, uh, high ceilings though again, gas cooktop, of course no vent, here again is the lath and plaster. This um, again is a, is a great fixer, not a fixer that I would be inclined to live in while I'm fixing it up, it's pretty rough all the way around. Uh, so we have two bedrooms, there's a hallway here. And uh, this is bedroom number one. This bedroom measured uh, 10 by about 12. Again, nice high ceilings. Looks like under this layer of lath that there may have been some um, wallpaper. So if you are pulling this off, well, I would probably drywall over it. If you're pulling it off, you may have to be concerned about the glue uh, the wallpaper glue having uh, asbestos in it, so you could get it tested as well. Decent sized closet with a window. Again, single pane window. And the same uh, floors. Here is the bathroom. It's funny because the bathroom looks like, of course, it has newer subway tile. This is the newest thing I've seen in the house. Good sized bathroom, marmalian floor. Um, we've got original sink, does look like galvanized plumbing, newer toilet, and here's the tub, but definitely a decent space to be finished. And then here is bedroom number two. This bedroom was just a couple inches smaller than uh, the first bedroom when I measured. And again, another decent sized closet for this era. High ceilings. So I'll bring you through the kitchen outside. The entrance to the um, basement is uh, off of the porch. Thank you. So we do have uh, an older back porch here. Um, here is the yard. Again, there, there's an alley right there. So you could do like the next door neighbor and do a garage that connects to the alley. And then let me show you the back of the house from out here. So again, as you can see, it definitely needs a new roof, uh, good paint job, some areas where the um, siding is going to need to be replaced. Not a lot though, it's wood siding, so that's good. And then here's kind of your side yard, here's your south side, so, or excuse, yeah, south side, so it is worn a bit more. 
here is the entrance to the basement. Again, it is not six foot eight high, so you couldn't legally finish it. I'm five seven. It's probably maybe five nine or five ten. Um, panel, hundred amp panel. Laundry. And they're just using this for storage. It does look like a newer water heater. Here's the gas furnace. I'm guessing this is probably from the 80s. It does smell dry down here. Uh, they're using it for storage. He's got all of these boards up here, so it's hard for me to see if there is knob and tube wiring. Um, uh, again, I think most of the plumbing's galvanized. I did see one little section, I believe, of some plastic plumbing. Uh, and it's kind of just wraps around lots of stuff down here. So I think it's a great fixer. I think it's going to need to be a cash buyer. I think there'd be too many lender required repairs um, on this. And uh, I'll run some comps to see what values of places being finished are. Oh yeah, it says new water heater in 2015. Um, I think that's it.